When you spend time in a shelter, whether you're volunteering or you're working there, you meet a lot of different cats. And sometimes it is sad. You, you meet a cat on the day that they're losing their family or losing their home. Sometimes they're scared or they're sick or even injured. But when you can look at that cat and say, we can help you, that's really uplifting. So far this year, more than 2,000 cats and kittens have found homes through CAT, and that's 2,000 new families created. It is really incredible what we can do when we work together to save lives. The support of our community, of our volunteers, and of our donors is what makes it possible for CAT to provide the type of care that we're able to give. Um, and that's really individual, special care for each cat who comes through our doors. Cats come in, they're very scared, nervous, um, and what I feel what's really great about cat is, you know, it's a, we make it a very calm environment for them. Um, we give them lots of enrichment. We have a lot of great volunteers that spend a lot of time with the cats, and so it's really great to see a cat's transition from very scared and timid um, to that day where they open up, and because of that, you know, somebody will look at them and see this great cat for what they are. At CAT, we see a lot of cats with different types of needs, and Galaga is a great example of a cat who came in and we ended up learning that she had some health issues or had some behavior issues. And because of our donors, we were able to take time to care for those things, to have them treated, and to work with her uh, to help make her stay really comfortable. She'd been there such a long time, maybe 18 months or almost two years, and she was cranky. Uh, and I don't blame her, but she had developed uh, a habit of communicating with her teeth, for example, and I just wanted to respect her space and uh, interact with her in a respectful manner. I think CAT is hugely important, and I think Sharky would not be alive if it weren't for CAT, because the CAT adoption team held on to her for so long and worked with her so hard. Um, and believed in her, really. Believed in her, absolutely. You know, there were some stories about she had a special room to sleep in uh, and stuff like that. So it was just clear that people at CAT really took the opportunity to get to know her really well and just do right by her for a long, long time until we were able to meet her. You know, our job lets us have one-on-one -on -one time with each cat, too, um, and really get to know their personalities. And by learning their personalities, we're able to find um, a better match for them, um, and that's what creates successful adoptions. She's a huge, a huge part of our lives. Um, she's really the center of it. Our she lives is. would be empty without her. Perfect match. Of course, there's lots of cats who just need a safe place to stay in this transition time between their old life and their new life and our donor support makes it possible for CAT to be that safe place. When you give to CAT, you save lives. You make sure that cats can get everything they need so they have their own chance to find a new family. I really can't think of anything better for a homeless cat than to help them get healthy and happy and go into a new home.